Okay, hi. Um, welcome back to WWT's Cisco Live Shorts, day three. I am Rebecca Morrison, um, and I am joined here by Drew Kaiser. Last but not least of our interviews, um, I have my handy note card here. Our viewers are very familiar with me flipping through these to get my cues and my notes. Um, on my note card, Drew Kaiser, I have security dash duo, <laughs> umbrella, yeah. and sassy. You can also throw in next generation firewall, Kenna, and secure workload and all the no, others. No, what are all the others? There's like 13 or 14 of them now. Oh, whoa, so, okay. I mean, I can really list them off. WSA, yeah, no. ESA. Yes, definitely. List yep. them off. Tell me. All right. Uh, you got cloud security. If you get into um, application security, mm -hmm. there's integrations with Jupyter One. There's also a platform that brings everything together in a holistic uh, orchestration, Secure X. So, Secure X, of course. Of course, of course, because. <laughs> 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 keep going, though, keep yes. going. Yes, um, so there's quite a few different products in there, and they keep adding more and more through yeah. acquisitions, so it just it continues to grow. Gotcha. So, kind of a nice segue. I saw, um, according to our platform, that you have started at WWT recently, 2021. Yes. And you have six Cisco... I wrote notifications. That can't be right. No, probably certifications. Certifications. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Eh, He's got enough. the certifications. Okay. <laughs> um, tell me about those certifications. Sure. So a lot of them are industry standard. Yeah. I've I've done CISSP and a lot of the Cisco certifications. Mm -hmm. So I've dabbled in a lot of the CCNAs. Um, unfortunately, Cisco decided to consolidate a okay. lot of those into a singular CCNA. Okay. So a lot of my, my certifications just kind of Thanos snapped away. And Shoot. Yeah. So I, Darn infinity stones. I had, I know, <laughs> I know. I thought we had them all, but I guess not. No. Um, so a lot of them were uh, just kind of retired after yeah. a while, but I still have my uh, security ones, my CCNP security, CCNA security. I have an industrial that's now retired, a uh, developer, CCNA route switch, all of those as well. Yeah. Um, you have all of that, you know, yeah. retained. Yes, absolutely, 100% memorized and can pull it up Ready from to a go. <laughs> second I need to. That's how that works. Yes, like <laughs> another snap, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, well, great. So. That was a lot of information. Mm -hmm. You clearly do a lot. You're a very um, secure, certified individual. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Tell our viewers a little bit more about yourself. Sure. So I've been working in security for about 15 years. Okay. Um, I've dabbled in various uh, verticals as well. Okay. Financial, healthcare. Um, I've even gone to like distribution and started working with MSPs and some of the smaller businesses okay. on security. It's really interesting. Um, security kind of fascinates me because it's one of those uh, technologies that's just budding mm -hmm. and it's constantly changing. So yeah. it's a moving landscape and I think Cisco's doing a good job of trying to uh, acquire or build out mm -hmm. or even pull in open source software to augment their own portfolio and really secure some of these enterprises that need it. Cool. Well, that um, I'm actually going to skip this one card and go to my next question because I feel like you, you kind of set up good. No, it was, I feel like it's a good segue here. All right. So the platform, which is WWT.com, mm -hmm. is full of resources. Mm -hmm. um, it's our virtual ATC, our Virtual Advanced Technology Center, um, where we test and tinker with a lot of products. What you were just saying about Cisco and security, are any of those things in the ATC? There's quite a few in the okay. ATC. So we have uh, abundancy of labs, everything from uh, Duo to SecureX. Uh, we even have some firewall labs in okay. there. 
What we're really focused on now is our SASE and a lot of the integrations that we see, especially with Viptela. So some of that security is uh, available to all the WWT partners and uh, customers out there. Yeah, that, and that's a you know, really great thing. You log on, you have mm -hmm. that access. Um, tell us, tell me, I mean, I know, but tell me what SASE is, because it's not Sure. S A S S Y. We're not we're not talking about a state of mind here. <laughs> well, maybe we are. But what's your sassy? Yeah, yeah. and so um, secure access service edge um, has elements of both networking and security mm -hmm. intertwined, and it's modernized for most uh, organizations that are using cloud apps or SaaS applications. Mm -hmm. So software as a service in the cloud. Yeah, I think Office three sixty five for the mm -hmm. most part. Those type of applications have uh, various callouts and are secure through uh, SASE, secure access. Um, there is a new naming of SASE I've to Security Services Edge. They kind of drop the A. Yeah. Um, Cisco hasn't really taken to that too okay. well. They like having the A mm -hmm. in there, so it's a little confusing. It's like to be continued, yeah, keep an eye on things. Yeah, but they basically mean the same thing. Uh, the SSE element is more focused on security without the networking. Gotcha. So SASE has that networking component. Obviously, Cisco is a networking company. Right. So they like having that in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one thing, I worked at WWT for seven years now. Tech industry loves its acronyms. Oh, yeah. And they love to shift and evolve those acronyms. So just when you get a handle on it, it's like, oh, yeah. not anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're here at Cisco Live. Um, how many Cisco Lives have you been to before? Uh, so, this will be my third one in person. Okay. Fourth one if you count the digital ones. Gotcha. And all of those, that. those lost years. Well, <laughs> but still getting all that information. So, for this year's Cisco Live here in Vegas, um, what's been like a big takeaway for you? There's been a couple. So I've got a, a great chance to talk to some of the uh, Cisco developers mm -hmm. and uh, some very, very smart people, much smarter than myself. I think uh, a lot of them have some amazing things that are coming out. So um, SecureX has a lot that's coming to it with device insights, and we're seeing plugins mm -hmm. for various applications uh, inside of SecureX now. Mm -hmm. So you can orchestrate and tie in both third-party uh, applications and Cisco applications. Okay. But now they're bringing it to the endpoint, and they're trying to consolidate with a unified endpoint to then tie into SecureX. Okay. And that way you don't have to have 10 or 12 uh, various applications running on your endpoints. Gotcha. That's really useful. Yes. And there's also some very good stuff going on with the next generation firewall right mm -hmm. now. So FTD got a, off to a rough start. So yeah. Firepower Threat Defense, um, okay. now rebranded to Firewall Threat Defense. Thank you, Cisco. <laughs> and what that is doing is it's an operating system okay. that is merging both uh, the Snort operating the system? The snort. the snort. Yeah. So that's snort. a snort packet <laughs> sniffer. <laughs> okay. And basically started off as a IPS uh, intrusion prevention and packet sniffing capabilities and then it just morphed into a open source, very useful. Uh, so I'm sorry, IPS the engine. snort yeah. sniffs? The snort sniffs. Okay, listen. And, <laughs> you know, there's, there's uh, bacon in the code and okay. as well as um, a nice snort calendar if you go out to snort.org. Okay, well, I'll have to do that after we wrap up here. I've learned a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. so, as we kind of wrap up, thank you. I mean, sure. for sharing a, a lot of information here. Um, anything else we didn't discuss that you think is super important for us to know before we yeah. close out here? So, kind of uh, continuing along with the, uh, the firewall train. Yeah. We have a lot of cloud-delivered firewalls coming okay. in now. We also have SaaS applications, and mm -hmm. we're seeing uh, cloud management now on the uh, Firepower devices themselves. Mm -hmm. And so there's different ways to manage. There's different ways to integrate and orchestrate up to the cloud, and then mm -hmm. you combine that into the networks as well. So I think going forward, a lot of our customers uh -huh. are going to have to start thinking in terms of network security, uh -huh. application security, 
um, cloud security, mm -hmm. even API security. It's mm -hmm. not just going to be security. It's not this offset yeah, yeah, kind of bubble. Right. It's really going to the technology and then incorporating into those technologies. Yeah, absolutely. And we know who to call. Ah. Drew Kaiser. I'll be here. <laughs> well, thank you for coming. I appreciate yeah. it. Um, and thank you all for tuning in um, the last few days. And right now, really appreciate it. We hope you have found all of this useful, and um, we look forward to seeing you again soon.